Cahalig. The Irish Republic is proudly an independent, sovereign state, having won its freedom after centuries of struggle and at great cost. But we are also proudly European, and not just dating back from our accession to what's now known as the EU. For over 1,500 years, Ireland has contributed enormously to the security and culture of Western civilization. Thomas Cahill's book with the big name title sums it up very well. How Ireland saved civilization, the story of Ireland's heroic role from the fall of Rome to the rise of medieval Europe. It has been well documented that the majority of people in Northern Ireland are against Brexit. They do not want to ditch the protocol. But it's worrying recalling what I hope is an extreme example of the British government's attitude to Ireland when some time ago a current member of the British government is reported to have said if Ireland does not do what we want, Britain will cut off food supplies to Ireland. This caused grave offence. During the Great Famine, our so-called then masters totally mishandled and mismanaged an unspeakable tragedy. British unilateral and mismanaged action cannot, must not be allowed to collapse the peace process. Whilst France and Spain and others have come to Ireland's aid over the centuries, our special unique relationship with America is with respect on a different level. The contribution of America to creating the Good Friday Peace Agreement was pivotal. It has saved countless numbers of lives, and for that we are forever grateful. American politicians like the Clintons, the Kennedys, Mitchell, President Biden, Kerry, Morrison, Moynihan, Foley, Pelosi, Boyle, Peter King, Tip O'Neill, to name but a few, are legends forever etched in the minds of our gratitude. But I'm not forgetting the contribution of a young congressman from Massachusetts, elected a decade before the historic Good Friday Agreement, one Richard E. Neal. President Lincoln said, in the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. And your life, Congressman Neil, makes us in Ireland proud of your honest stewardship and unwavering courage. Some of my ancestors, like so many millions, took refuge in the wonderful United States of America. And many of those took up sport, including boxing. My granduncle, Vincent Pepper Martin, in one of the bouts he won, was floored in an early round. <laughs> I'm glad to report on that particular night, the next day in the New York papers, under the photo caption which had him on the ground, it read, down but far from knockout. Uh -huh. We are politically down, Congressman, but we are far from knockout. But the baton of American peace guarantors has been passed on to the next generation, including your de dedicated delegation. The surnames Doyle, Brady, Buchanan, Kelly, Scanlon, Neil, Kind, Kildee, Joyce. No, they're not talking about in an all Ireland final. They have a different challenge on a different level. They have a gigantic challenge. And whilst we wish them well, we do so with the greatest hope and respect and gratitude. Irish America, we need your help again. Thank you for your continued efforts to rescue, save and protect the precious police. Please continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with us, north and south, east and west, of all denominations and none. Please help us to do your utmost to ensure that the current scarce commodity of common sense, fairness, and also respect for the rule of law can be found and nurtured to help navigate our people through this most difficult time. Gurumil Margaret.